Hello and welcome to my XNA tutorial. We'll be starting by opening Microsoft Visual Studio and creating a new project. Choose Windows game, give your project a name and click OK. The XNA framework already creates a game class for you. In this class there are a few methods. The initialize method initializes your game. In the load content method you can load your content like 3D models, textures, audio, fonts. Unload content is for unloading this content. The update method updates your game like you can update your player position here or update the score. And the draw method is for drawing your game to the screen. We are going to start with loading the resources in our project. So we create a new folder for models and a folder for textures. I'm going to use a model which I got from the Microsoft site. I also import the texture. I'm going to change the asset name. This is what you use for lo really loading the model into your project. Change it into ship. Before we can actually draw the model, we really have to load it in. So we are going to make a field for this. And in the load content method, we are going to load our model. Specify which kind of model you want to load. And the position of the model. Here we use the asset name, which I just changed into ship. Don't worry about the texture, it will be loaded automatically. We are going to specify our camera now. We need a few fields for this. Uh, vector 3 for the camera position. Matrix for the view. This specifies where the camera is located and where the camera is looking at. And another matrix for the projection. This specifies the kind of camera, so near clipping plane, far clipping plane, things like that. And we need a float for the aspect ratio. We also create a field for the ship position. And then in the initialize method we're going to initialize our game. Set this to zero. Create a new vector for the camera position. This should work. And then we are going to create our view matrix. three parameters. First one is the camera position. The second one is the target of the camera. So we're going to set this to zero so that it shows our ship. And the last parameter is to define what is up for the camera. So we use first three points up. Next step is to create the projection matrix. Before we can do this, we need to define the aspect ratio. We do this by getting the aspect ratio from your viewport. It's very easy. Just like this. Now we can create our projection matrix. Takes a few parameters as well. First one is the view angle. Next one is the aspect ratio. And 
the near and far clipping planes. This specifies which we will be viewing by our camera. So now we are going to start the interesting part. We are going to actually draw the model on our screen. We do this in the draw method. First we add this code. Now we're going to loop through all meshes in our model and draw them. So create a loop. Next step is to loop through each in the meshes so we add a new loop within our previous loop and we add this code to it enable default lightning Here we use our view matrix. When we save and hit play, we should be able to see our model. That's right. So now we can draw our model. The last step is to make it move using the update method. So we go to updates. We can remove this code, it's not useful for us. We are going to use the keyboard. Getting the current keyboard state by using this code. And then we check for input like this it checks whether the user has pressed the up key and if this is true we're going to update the position of our ship And if we made no mistakes, it should be able to move now. So we hit start again. If I press the up key, we can see that the ship comes to us. So it works. So we have come to the end of this tutorial. I hope this was useful. If you have any comments, feel free to leave them in the comment section.